Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson, and every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Charlton Athletic, and they take on Reading. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game, and that, for me, is the area that's key today. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4-4-2, and it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers, and the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. A glance at the Reading starting 11. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3 5 2. And so the match is underway. Carroll. Mete. And it's with Hendrik. And the attack looks promising, but they dealt with the threat posed. George Dobson. Well, possession seeded. Carroll. Carroll. Charlie Kirk. Stockley. Dobson. Fraser. He's given it away. Ince. Jeff Hendrick. Mete. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. And well, they know they need to stop him. It's still there for him. The defender doing his job. And it took a touch on the way through. So a corner here. And taken short. And not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance. From that sort of distance, he should really be hitting the target. It was a really poor attempt in the end. Oh, good play, this. How about the cross? A fine block. A really top-notch piece of defending. Sam Hutchinson. Jeff Hendrick. Well, they have it again. 
Well, the visitors, as you can see, have enjoyed so much of the possession. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. No doubt. They go to work, moving it around again. And he could really get at the opposition. Can he give them the advantage? And he's missed the opportunity to net the opening goal. Well, it should be 1-0, Derek. You can see how frustrated he is with himself. Really a very poor ball. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. And unable to pick out a teammate, and that'll be a throw. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Well, nothing comes of it, it looked promising. Good use of advantage by the referee. Andy Yadom. Jeff Hendrick. Strong but fair tackle. Sean Clare. And couldn't keep himself onside. setting off perhaps a little bit too much here he could pick out a teammate but he didn't really trouble the keeper to be fair the angle was tight well I'm not sure that was the right option it was always going to be difficult to score from there so making the substitution now Fraser and he takes it away Scott Fraser and in possession is Steven Sessegnon Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Crossing into the middle. Oh, good save. Excellent header. Fifteen minutes left for play. Yakumete. Carroll. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? George Dobson. Stockley. Fraser. Well, forward they go again. Can they win this? 
Carroll. Make a good tackle, take it away. Turning inside, where's he going to go? So nearly a goal at long last. Well, if he scores there, that would surely have been the winner. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Substitution for Reading. Coming off the pitch, number two, Andy Carroll. To be replaced by number nine, Lucas Jow. Mayday. Can he take advantage? Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, he's the match winner, and deservedly so. He was outstanding today. He's great to watch when he's in this sort of form.